This week's Weekly Wonder, we're talking about rider nutrition. Do you think about what you eat in terms of your performance? Do you alter your routine on competition days? Could what you're eating be affecting your ability to focus while on course? Well, today we have world-renowned equestrian fitness and health coach Nina Hammerstrom here to discuss these very things. Nina has multiple masters in business, is a certified personal trainer as well as nutritionist, and has worked with top riders Malin Bayard Janssen, Michael and John Whitaker, Your Reeling, Peter Fredrickson, Marco Kutcher, Rolf Joran Bankston, and many more. She was a meter 50 level show jumper herself and clearly knows what it takes to perform at your best. And today we're going to touch on just one part of her expertise, nutrition for riders. Tell us a little bit about the importance of diet and nutrition in overall performance. I mean, you used to be a rider. It's more important than, than people think, generally. It's uh, something we forget about and we need to eat right to be able to focus, to be able to concentrate in the ring, to make fast decisions, and of course for muscle and impact of our energy. What would you suggest to any rider wanting to make sort of a small and manageable change to their current diet in order to improve their performance? One thing that I see all the time in riders is the intake of fiber is not enough. Okay. So the fiber makes all the things in the intestines, like immune system, how you get many um, come back from a big show somewhere and traveling and they get a bit sick, they get catch a virus. Yeah. That's something that you can um, prevent. Let's talk a little bit about supplements. <laughs> I know that they're sort of a tricky topic. Big topic. Um, yeah, people love to use them not only for their horses, but for themselves. What are your thoughts on supplement use today nowadays? Usually less is more. Yeah. <laughs> if uh, something is potent or strong enough to make an impact on the positive side, it is also strong enough to make a negative. So you can't just add on. Yeah. And you need to know why you're eating it and be quite specific. We saw a recent bit on FEI's uh, socials and they were asking riders, you know, what do you eat before competition? And I think that there's a big discussion as to time and different types of foods. Talk a little bit about that. On a general, you should not eat fast release carbohydrate um, okay. and not in bulk. As a general, I would say eating in light salad with some healthy fats, nuts, uh, avocado, some olives, yep. and eating that about two hours before you're going to okay. get on the horse, then you have at least a good good way to kind of, kind of go. Or, you know, drink a yogurt, something something that has some probiotics, okay. something light. S something that won't sit heavy, because I know even yeah. myself, I hated to eat anything at all. Yeah. Do you think that there's a problem with people who don't want to eat at all? Do you think that that can affect performance, or do you think it's still really individual? Absolutely can affect. And if you do it because you're nervous and that's not your normal routine, then it's definitely not good for you. Okay. But if you do it always, that you're always on a fasting kind of regime, then your body can get used to it and your body can uh, learn to release glucose from the cells and from, yeah, from the storage um, in an efficient way. But um, not if that's only at the show and okay. that's something that you do only there. That's never a good thing. Okay, so that's important. Make sure that you stick to your routine whether you're showing or not. The more that you do things like you normally do it, and this comes to everything, performance for your, like how yeah. you prepare your horse and everything. The more you stick to your routines, the better your, your body will adjust to the nervousness, the, the stress and everything else. Energy drinks, protein bars with a lot of sweetness, everything like that, always bad for you. Eat your greens. That's, okay. uh, fiber. you know, fiber, green vegetables, broccoli, kale, spinach, all of that is always good for everyone. We are designed to eat that and we should have that as a base. Okay, so in the mornings, and I know a lot of riders, including myself, always go for like an iced coffee. Is that enough of uh, a drink or hydration for the day? Do you think that uh, that can count as my meal before I ride? No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> but yes, also. No, but caffeine is fine. Uh, coffee is fine. I have my coffee in the morning first thing as well. Um, but drink your water. So hydrate first, drink a large glass of water, and then you can have your coffee and you can ride a few horses, that's fine, if that's your routine. 
Okay. But um, but don't only drink the coffee. Drink your water as well. Always hydrate. Always come back to hydration. If you choose not to eat, hydrate and have your coffee. That's fine. But uh, not only. Okay. So when my mother told me I should drink water, or drink more she water, was right. she was right. All right. So we you like should listen your to your mothers. <laughs> listen to your mothers. As Nina mentioned, balance is key when it comes to best nutrition practices. And make sure to stick to your usual routine and know that everyone's body is different. And finding what works best for you is key.